Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana if you are new to my channel. This look is my February color series look, which is obviously pink because it's Valentine's Day coming up. And just like last month, I started this tutorial with no idea how it was gonna turn out, but I'm really, really happy with how it did. I used a lot of products that I've never used before, which is really why I wanted to start this color series because there's a lot of different colors I have in my makeup wardrobe that I never touch, so this is definitely making me try more things. So hopefully you guys like this pink Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, stay at home, watch Netflix day makeup look. So without further ado, Let's start the tutorial. Last month we did purple or lilac and it was very like blown out and soft and I thought it could easily turn into that again. So we're gonna do something a little bit more sharp, I think. I don't know, let's start off with face though. So I'm gonna use my Nabla Close Up Foundation and I'm gonna mix the shades T10 and M20. Absolutely love this foundation, it's my go-to. I just mix the shade if I have tan on my face or if I don't and Honestly, it just stays all day and it doesn't let any oil through, which I love. Taking two different concealers, this one is a new one and I am loving it. It's the RMS Beauty Uncover Up in 22. I'm gonna put this on any areas that I have some scarring or uneven skin tone just so that everything is a flawless base. Under my eyes, I'm gonna use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Snow just to really brighten it up. I'm gonna set under my eyes quickly with my Laura Mercier translucent powder which is going a lot quicker than I expected. Don't think I'm going to do a cream bronzer contour situation so I'm going to actually just put a very light dusting of this all over my face so that nothing moves but that foundation is not really like super dewy by any means so your bronzer if it's a powder should be able to glide on top but I don't really have time for mistakes so <laughs> we're just going to ensure it doesn't by popping this translucent powder all over my face so that it has a nice smooth finish to glide on. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's so good. Literally will last you forever. I only finished my other one like a couple months ago when I was using other bronzers to try and finish them up. It was like the only bronzer that I really wanted to get again. Like, and there's so many new ones, but there was just something so consistent with this, you know? Why stray? Now going back to my translucent powder, I'm gonna do a little bit of baking underneath my cheeks and then we'll move on to our eyes. Obviously, I don't do this on an everyday basis. I want to clarify that. This is just a little bit more of an extra look, and obviously, if I was going on a date night with Patty or a girls' night, whatever, you're gonna to want to just like spend a little extra time on your makeup. That's just my thing because obviously, on an everyday basis, I don't have the luxury of time for my makeup with a baby and will be babies. I oh, there is something in my eye. I bought a new eyebrow pencil. I just wanted to try something quick before. I invested in something that was recommended maybe. This is from e.l.f. It's a brow, just as brow pencil. I have it in the shade, I believe it was like medium brown. It doesn't even say on this, but it was like $2.99 at Superdrug. So it does the job. It's a little bit more of a waxy pencil than like a powdery pencil. But it has a spoolie on the end and it stays in my brows all day. So I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Okay, I did my brows a little bit different than usual. Normally it's like straighter and fluffier and wider, and this is a little bit more defined and lifted. I feel like the wax in this pencil just helps, you know, keep the brows in place a little bit more, but I'm feeling it. Let's move on to my eyes. So I have a feeling that I wanna do like a really dramatic cat eye, but then it kind of like comes in a little bit at the crease. I have this palette from Nabla, it's called the Cute Palette perfect for Valentine's Day. Also, my lips are really annoying me because they're kind of dry and I have foundation on them. <laughs> this palette is really, really cute, hence the name, but I thought this color area here would be fun to play with. They have this color called Feelings. It's a really pretty mid-tone pink with like the smallest hint of peach. So I thought that would look nice against blue eyes because obviously peach is really pretty against blue eyes. Um, oops, ugh, things are falling apart here. So I thought, I'm figuring this out with you guys because I have no set plan. I thought I'd put a little bit at my lash line to create 
you know, the starting point and like background of our liner and then the smallest amount at my outer crease, like not even bringing it in. I feel like this brush is too thick. I'm gonna go with a smaller one. This is from Nabla and it's a pointed crease brush. You know, actually start at the outer crease like with a little ball motion. Oh wow, that's so pigmented and I didn't even put like Fix Plus on it to bring it out. And I don't even think I'm gonna bring it halfway into my crease, like literally just the outer corner. I'm gonna look down so I can see a little bit more what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm gonna bring that on my lash line. I'm gonna take an even smaller brush here for my lash line just so it's a little bit more dense and precise of getting in there. That's a really pretty color. Like it really is pigmented without being like neon. I like that. I think it's the small pop of peach that's in it that's just bringing out more of a brightness in the pink. Just take my blending brush and bring it all the way in my crease, but the density of the color is still at the outer corner. So there's definitely like a gap in the middle there. You know what's so annoying? Having two eyes. Cause like, just having one eye would make eyeshadow look so much easier, especially when you have no idea what you're doing. Okay, I decided to come up close so that you can kind of see the situation that's going on right now. I kind of like how it's turning out. It's a little bit modern of an eyeshadow concept, but slightly wearable. <laughs> it's fun. It's definitely taking a little bit more time than usual because it's not a, you know, every, it's not a normal eyeshadow technique. Like you're literally leaving a gap in between your lid and your crease. Um, do I put a color in that? Ooh, I feel like I should put like a sparkly color, like something like a sheen, just like in the center. This is the NARS um, Ignited palette. And I think there was a really pretty like yeah, here I feel like it could be really pretty with like a pink sheen. So I'm gonna take, I don't know what this color is, but it's on the far right side of the palette and it's one down. And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the far top right color. I'm just gonna tap it on the area that wasn't covered and then blend it with my other finger. See, I think that's, yeah. It's just like glossy looking, but you don't have to worry about your eyelid sticking together because it's just a shadow. I think I'm gonna take, I have a brown eyeliner here just because I thought black was a little bit harsh against the pink. I also do have a pink eyeliner. Do you think I should do a little bit of an eyeliner? Like, this is a pink look. I think I'm gonna do this in my waterline on like the top lash line and the bottom lash line. I know I'm getting crazy. I'm putting eyeliner on my bottom lash line. It's like unheard of. But just to create a little bit of depth so that you can really see that pink pop because it is a little bit more on the light side. Let's just have fun with this look. I'm gonna take this pink liner. I literally bought it for this look because I, it was pink and I didn't know what I was doing yet. Still don't. <laughs> it's a L'Oreal Matte Signature. Oh, Signature. It's the matte liner from L'Oreal. It's in the shade 09 Fuchsia Signature. Oh, maybe it's saying signature, but just, yeah, it's saying matte signature. <laughs> it's just broken out of the word. I feel like we're, we're okay. Like I'm gonna put lashes on anyways, so half of this will be hidden so we can always amplify it whenever we see the final stitch. It's very subtle. I'm into it. I'm gonna do a very quick light coat of mascara with my Lashtopia from Bare Minerals, and I'm gonna use these lashes. They're the Tati Lashes in no name, TL29. That's a boring name, but I think it will go because they're not very overpowering and they have a little bit more flair at the outer corner. Those are the lashes on. They make a massive difference. It just kind of like completes the look because it's very like this with a little bit of this and this and this and <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna take a little bit of the lightest shade in this palette. I'm gonna take it on the smallest blending brush I have, which it's not gonna pick up a lot, but I don't want it to pick up a lot. And I'm just going to hit that brow bone just because I feel like it's gonna amplify the look a little bit more. And also the inner corner of my eye. Such a subtle difference, but I feel like it completes off the eyes. I'm gonna take off that powder that I had on because it has been on long enough. <laughs> Everything is definitely baked. Now you can't do a pink look without some pink blush. This is also a new blush. I picked it up at MAC. It is dainty and it is it is so pretty. It's like a very bubblegum pink uh, with a light shimmer throughout it. I'm gonna concentrate it on the apples and then bring it up my cheekbone. And it acts as like a subtle highlighter as well. Over my nose. 
It's a really soft, pale pink flesh, but I think it's Valentine's Day. You can go crazy. I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, which obviously I love. It's like a your lip but better color and it really just helps define and give your lip color a base for whatever you put on top. I think that lip liner is so pretty. You could honestly just wear that on its own, but we're not going to stop there. A little bit of lipstick. This is a new one as well. It's from MAC. It is in the 411. Oh, I couldn't pronounce this in my vlog either. Leia's Fair. It's the Love Me lipstick, which I believe is a newer collection. It's a little bit more of a cool tone. Uh, pink so I'm just gonna pat it on very gently and then our lip gloss which is from wet n wild and this is like a bubblegum pink um, we're gonna put this on top this is the shade 942 B flirt alert and because it's such a baby doll pink I wanted to make sure the base was a little bit more cool tone and soft so that this you know wasn't too too pink on top This is the final look. I am really pleased with it. I'm glad that it came to something that, you know, isn't too intense. I know I say that in every kind of color look, but again, if you're a little bit more new to my channel, then you know I'm not one for a lot of color. I normally play it safe with my makeup looks because it's what I feel good in and it's what I'm comfortable uh, playing with. So I feel like this is a really nice way to you know, introduce color, especially pink, because it can easily go into like a pink eye kind of look, like not a healthy look, like a, you know, you need to stay home, not go out for Valentine's Day. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, leave a color down for March. Please don't pick green because it's St. Patty's Day. <laughs> I feel like green is like the one color that I don't have a lot of options with, but now saying that, you guys are gonna pick green. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.